Alright, so I've uh, showed you how to put Magic Lantern on your camera. If you haven't seen that yet, watch this other tutorial. Um, but now I want to show you a couple cool things you can do within Magic Lantern. Um, two of the cooler things I've found is you can do HDR video and photography, which I'll talk more about in uh, another tutorial. But um, anyway, I'd like to just kind of show you around how to access the menu, so let's get started. Okay, so I am looking at the back of my Canon T3i right now, and already you'll notice there's uh, some interesting grid lines and uh, things of that nature uh, appearing. But uh, basically, the easiest way to access your menu now is on my camera on the T3i, I hit the trash button. So, right there, I hit that, and that brings me now into this much more confusing menu. I'm going to go ahead and set my camera, which was on video mode, to manual mode. Yeah. So I'm on manual. And go back into that menu again by hitting the trash button. So two cool things you can do. Um, one, The first thing in, movie, in this mode is doing HDR. Um, so if you go over to shoot, there's this thing called HDR bracketing which basically what it allows you to do is when I click set here that sets up a bracketed photo where basically I'm gonna take four photos at different exposures which I can then later put down together and they're gonna make something very very cool uh, which I'll show you some examples of what I've done Um, but uh, you'll need some software to do that. If you want to go in and look at the options, click on this Q button here, and now you can say, okay, I want to do five frames or six frames or seven or maybe just three, um, and you can set that uh, exposure increment between the shot. Um, so a whole wide range of things that you can do there. Uh, and then when you're in video mode, same thing, you can come over here and you can do video HDR video and there's a cool tutorial out there but basically it sets it up for two different ISOs so when I go say I, uh, I like what I, I like what I'm doing here okay what it's gonna do now is when I start videotaping you're gonna see this kind of strobe light thing going on Okay, and I haven't set, normally it's, it's actually much, much faster than this, but um, it'll go almost like frame by frame, like a strobe light effect. And what that gives you is basically two different exposures that you can play with and you can create, it's really good for cinematography. Um, there's some good examples out there of HDR video, but uh, those are two of the coolest things that you can do right in the menu, um, along with a whole host of other features, uh, things that you can bring out. But that, that's basically how you do it. You just use this trash.